What didn't you think of him becoming down the road in this kind of an area? Um, you know, there, there VSD are, you're talking yeah, there about. Yeah, a lot more exciting stuff. And, you know, I mean, technology is constantly improving. New and new devices are coming out. And, and most of these things are still available outside the United States. The FDA in the United States is very strict. They want to make sure that devices are safe for children. So it takes a little while. But I, I'll tell you there are a few very exciting things, which is one is uh, putting an artificial valve into the heart without an open heart surgery. Wait a minute. You're going to actually replace a valve? Yes. yes. And the cardiovascular surgeon is going to be having lunch while you're doing all this? Well, not having lunch, but they have their own complicated. I mean, this, this is not to eliminate surgery because there are some cardiac disease that need surgeons no matter what. But this would, you know, we are taking a little bit work away from them, so to speak, but at the same time, we are improving the patient's outcome. We, they don't go on bypass machines. So the pulmonary valve, which is the, the valve that's been placed right now, is becoming more and more common in some of our babies who now are adults and have a valve leaking. And, and pulmonary valve placement, which was always a surgical procedure, in the future will become a procedure done in the, in the cat lab. You know, years ago, we used to worry about rheumatic fever and, and, and the valve, especially they would get really diseased, and there was even a famous singer that died from the Napkinite, the singer died. Today, if someone needed a valve replacement, even an adult, these techniques are getting so good that the risk of death has now gone down dramatically over the last 10 or 15, 20 years. It is, and I mean, you know, at, at the way it stands right now, I wouldn't say that all valves could be dealt with without an operation. It will. The goal the is. The goal is, and I can foresee in the future, in the next 10 to 20 years, that most of the valves in the heart will be replaced without an operation. Well, we're talking cardiothera. We, we, well, you call yourself not an op. You're a procedure man, is that yes. correct? Yes. But wait a minute. You get anesthesia, you go to an operating room most of the time, but you don't call it an operator. You, you downgrade to, what's the word? Procedure. Well, it is, it is a procedure because there are no cuts in law. There is no scar during our procedures. And we don't do this in the operating room. I think it's a different setup. It's done in a traditional cardiac catheterization laboratory. So the outcomes are better. We have less chance of death. And uh, it's... Recovery, it's there's not much recovery phase in it. You know, you stay in, in the hospital at the most one, one night, and you, you're back to work the next day. Some of these artificial valves, and we've been around long enough, that sometimes you have to put a new valve in after you put an old one in? Is that happening? This is, yes, it is going to happen because nothing artificial lasts forever. So, you know, there is a lifespan of these artificial valves. But the techniques would be developed that even a newer, a second valve would be able to put in the first valve position without removing that. Even if you're a pediatric guy, a lot of these congenital diseases sometimes represent later in life. So I heard sometimes adults with congenital heart disease end up with a pediatric department because you guys understand it better than the adult guys. Is that true? Absolutely. I, I think it, what we're seeing a trend now is such, since the survival after complex congenital heart disease is better, we're seeing more and more of them growing up to become adults. And I think in the United States there's at least about a hundred to two hundred thousand adults with congenital heart disease. The, the training that the adult cardiologist gets in adult congenital heart disease is sparse. So usually it ends up us with a better knowledge of the anatomy and physiology of complex diseases. We would collaborate with the adult cardiologists and, and take care of them as they get older. And then you got this, this like maybe four or five places even do open heart surgery with a population of nine million. So that's a very good thing. That we're realizing mm -hmm. concentrating the minds in one place is very good. And I would imagine the workup and the study of these kids is so extensive. When you go in, it's almost like a game plan for an NFL game. It's thought on every angle, so you know almost per minute what you're going to do. Is that hey, true? There's, there's a lot of detective work that goes on before you do a case. And, and the more you know about it, the better service you can provide to this complex, very complex heart problems, which is different from the adults, which is the coronary artery problem, which are usually come in standard form. 
congenital heart disease comes in a variety of different forms, and you need to know exactly how many operations. You have to go right from the birth till if they're 60 year old, what has happened in that time span. So a lot more work involved in dealing with an adult with congenital heart problems. Uh, robot surgery getting into your field too? Not yet. Not yet. Because, you know, we, we're trying to put the cardiothoracic guys out. Uh, robots are going to be a threat to you too? Uh, not yet, though. Actually, there might be a limited role, but in congenital heart disease, I think it's still way out. Oh, so you're not threatened by machines? Uh, no, you know, I mean, they usually there's no need to be threatened. You know, our goal is to provide good service. If somebody does things better, I, I think they should do it. And I also know that in your institution, you have gone out of your way that you never say no, even based on insurance. I've never, never heard a no here. I mean, uh, we, we just want to take care of kids. That's it. And that's how it should be. Absolutely.